hey guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to the channel my name is Kay and I am a new well it's three months now so I don't consider myself new anymore but I'm technically a new CNA and a new travel CNA so anyways I'm just getting in guys and oh sorry I have my headphones in but I'm just getting in I'm working 11 to 7 and we had a call in so usually it's two aides per two hold on all right sorry about that i thought someone was coming but anyway so it's usually two aides working two halls every night and so i have two halls by myself tonight so this should be fun <laughs> so i'm going to be checking in with you guys throughout the entire night i'm going to give you a walk through on everything so right now they're on precautions for the virus. I was just told that the results came back negative, but I just walked in the room to make sure she had her oxygen and she was elevated. And I have on a mask, but the room smells like it just reeks of death. I don't know. I don't even know what death smells like. I never smelled death, but it just gives me that feeling. I don't know, I might just sound ridiculous. But we do have like five new residents and I don't know any of them. So just stay tuned for tonight's adventure. <laughs> All right, so I have 40 residents tonight. And right now I am just about to fill up my cart there. Um, I just got some air freshener that I brought. This is just for my hair. <laughs> um, this is for my hands to keep them so they're not so dry and ashy. And of course, I have my agua. And so, um, the girls who were before me, they're usually really organized. So, I'm just going to add on to what they had. And then I'll show you guys what that looks like once I'm complete with it. All right, so I have a call light going off right now, so I'm about to go and check it. So this is what happens. Like, even when I'm in the midst of getting my cart together or getting myself together, I still have to answer call lights in between times. So I'm about to go see what they want, and I'll be back. All right, so he wanted a tuna fish sandwich that he had from lunch earlier that they put up for him. He wanted his urinal empty, and he also wanted some ginger ale. So I went to the kitchen in the nurse's station, but we're out of like practically everything, which is nothing new. So I'm back here in the kitchen and I'm gonna get him some ginger ale and my car is still waiting for me. So got him a cup of ice and hopefully, I know they got some ginger ale in here. Unless they're just out because that's like the only time that they don't stock up. I don't know if you guys could hear me or not in that freezer, but that's the only time they wouldn't stock um, is if they're out, so. And then they don't like for me to take from over here, so I don't know if you can see it, but it says breakfast. This is usually, you know, what they stock for the morning and they don't like for us to take out of here. And I didn't know that until the other day. Oh, we might be in luck. There's only one. Oh, nope, this is a cola. Dang, and that's what I don't like. I don't like going back saying oh they don't have this and then he's like well um bring me something it's like i still need to get my cart together oh gee okay so it's one diet ginger ale i'm just gonna put it in there hopefully he doesn't notice the difference <laughs> so he was also telling me about his appointment today he had surgery he got two stents put in his legs and oh my god we always have a good time whenever i'm in his room like we always have good conversations and he goes so i'll be living for another 20 years <laughs> he is so funny but yeah so now i'm about to go deliver this to him and then i'll be going back to my cart that's if i don't have any lights going off so i'll let you guys know if i have any lights like i said i got two halls i have 40 residents and yeah um i have one lady i went in and introduced myself because her light was going off as soon as i got in and she goes um oh she was like what did she say she said you chose the wrong one 
And I was like, why? She's like, I'm such a pain in the ass. I'm like, no, don't say that. She says, oh, no, really? So I mean, like five minutes later, she's back on her light again. She's like, can you sit me up? I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll sit you up. And then I left out and I come, she rings her light again and I come back and she goes, I told you I'm a pain in the ass. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to be calling you all night. So I just left from out of there before I went to go do my cart. And she had me to put her in her wheelchair because she wasn't comfortable. As soon as I sit her in the wheelchair, she was like, oh, I'm still not comfortable. So I might be calling you again. So maybe her light is going to be on, but hopefully no one light is on. And let me just stop talking and get to what I need to get to. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Once I get back in the closet, finishing up the um, my cart. did I tell you all right so the first light she just wanted to go to the bathroom and she takes a, quite a bit of time to go to the bathroom so we just went to the bathroom we talked and then the nurse actually came in and gave her medicine while we were at it so it kind of helped me up a bit and then as soon as I got out that other light um, right now he wants a melatonin a sleeping pill and also some ice cream so I'm about to go tell the nurse and grab that for him and then I know on my way back this other lady, she's probably going to have her light on, you know, blinking because she's ready because she's in the bathroom right now. So come along with me for the journey. <laughs> So my guy who wanted the sleeping pill, he isn't due for any more sleeping pills tonight. It's only um, once a night. And then my lady who was in the bathroom, I just got her off and got her in bed. Now, usually the girls, the aides, they always tell me, you know, give her a bedpan because she's very, very slow. And it's because she has problems with her knees and her feet. So she walks super slow guys and they always say do a bedpan but I always ask them what do you prefer and she always tell me you know okay I have been in bed all day I just want to get out of bed I want to walk and so I let her get up and get out of bed so as y'all can see by the time difference <laughs> it was quite some time but I'm here now and I'm finally back and I can finish my cart hopefully I'm about to go check the other hall because I can't see if it's lights going off from this end so I'm about to go check the other hall make sure everyone's good then I'm going to come back and finish my cart so I'll see you when I get back all right so I remember the lady that I was telling you about who told me that she was a pain in the ass okay so she wanted to be put back in bed so I just put her back in bed and then she also wanted an aspirin so got that for her and then this TV was on down here so we had a complaint about that but we finally got it off because for some odd reason there's no buttons on the television and then it's mounted on the wall so the cord is going through the roof and I hear a light oh my god it's the pain in the ass again all the way to the front so one of the girls just FaceTimed me I need to call her but today was her day off and she told me because we work together and I love when we work together we worked together last night and she told me she said Kay don't call me do not call me she said I don't care if y'all only got one person don't call me because I'm not coming in and so um she's probably wondering like what's going on because I'm the only person so I'm I'm sure that she got word back, so I'm about to FaceTime her, but I'm about to go check this light first, and then I'll come back and let you guys know what's up. All right, so I went in, and um, the nurse is already in there, but she kind of made a little mess, so I just stayed in there and helped her clean up the mess she made. It was just like her um, bedside table was, um, I'm looking for star phone calls, but her bedside table which is like it fell over or something like that. So I just helped her clean up the mess. And then I checked another light, but she just wanted medicine. And so as I was coming out of that room who wanted the medicine, the same lady, the pain in the ass, <laughs> she goes, I'm sorry. She had the light on again. And so I walked in, she goes, I'm sorry, but I need a cup of water, which I should have just grabbed because 
um, when her bedside table flipped over, her water went down as well. So I told her I'll get her a styrofoam cup. And we usually have the big styrofoam cups where the ice machine is, but we're out. So I'm back in the kitchen and they only have these small ones here. So I guess I'll just get her one of these. Um, I really wanted to get her a big cup so that way she don't have to keep calling me in there. But um, hopefully I'm able to get back to my cart because I still have yet to finish my cart. <laughs> I've just been on go ever since I got on the floor. So let me get her ice, her water, and then I'll check back in with y'all, hopefully, when I'm back at my cart, hopefully. All right, I'm finally back. <laughs> so I like to put two bags on the edge right here one for trash and one for linen that way i don't have to keep running back and forth to the linen closet you know what i mean so it just makes it easier for me did i say linen closet i meant the soil room you know where you dump everything out y'all know And I usually get the bigger bags, but these were the only ones I saw. So I'm just trying to hurry up because obviously I'm behind. Well, not really because it's the night shift, but for myself, I'm technically behind. You me on the 25. Instinct. I don't even know if y'all can see them. I just like to fold them halfway so that way I have more room on my cart. And I hear light going off. It's not in this hall, so it gotta be in the West Hall. So I'll be back. All right, so it was another person who wanted to be toileted and it took me about 15 minutes because she takes her time as well. And while I'm on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my cart on this side because the other side didn't have any bed pans, I mean, any bed pads. And so I am just about to fill it up over here, hopefully. All right, so I did find some bigger bags and I'm about to put those on my cart. And for the most part, I got everything. I just need to get some gloves, um, soap, maybe some barrier cream and that's it i'll be done with my cart finally at one o'clock in the morning <laughs> the girls um, gave me a report I'm sorry about that somebody was coming I think I was just saying oh I didn't put any gowns because um, I got a report from the girls and everyone was good um, so yeah I'm pretty much good I'm about to take a quick break I need to put something on my stomach because I didn't eat anything before I got in here and so yeah I need to eat and now I'm finally able to have a seat <laughs> 
So now that I can sit down, I guess I can tell you guys my game plan for tonight. Because at two o'clock, I'm gonna do two o'clock rounds and then I'm gonna do five o'clock rounds. And so I know I won't be able to check in with you guys as much because I'm gonna be on go. So what I'm gonna do is right now I'm about to go eat something. I brought some food that my roommate cooked. So I'm about to warm that up and eat that. And then after that, I'm gonna start doing my rounds. So that way I can chart and you know, get that out the way. So what I'm gonna do is go into everyone's room, everyone who's incontinent, incontinent. Um, if they're asleep, I just let them sleep. I don't really like to wake them up. So for the ones who are continent, I'll just let them call. But if they're up, I'll just offer, you know, ask them if they need anything, if they want to use the bathroom, if I can help them, you know, go to the toilet or with the bedpan, whatever. Empty all urinals, drainage bags, empty those. For my incontinent ones, I'll, you know, check and see they need to be changed, get them cleaned up. Of course, I'll be checking call lights. And then I will chart, you know, everything that I did, you know, if anyone had any bowel movements, if I had to transfer anybody, how that was, everything like that, any behaviors. That's going to take about, I don't even know, I can't even tell you. I guess I'll check back in and let you guys know how long it took me. So, yeah, it's 125 right now. So I'm about to eat and then I'll start my rounds about... 145 no later than two and then after that i'm gonna go directly and chart like right now i'm about to chart on the people who i did like the lady who wanted to get up the pain in the ass <laughs> i'll chart on her i'll chart on my lady who went to the bathroom who wanted to just get up you know get her blood circulating i'll chart on her i'll chart on the guy who wanted the pain meds i mean not pain meds but the sleeping meds i'll chart on him he's independent so i can chart on him who else? Oh, the other lady who I toileted, I'll chart on her. And that's it. Those are the only people I'll chart on. And um, oh, the guy who wanted the drink, I'll just put that in. So yeah, I'll do that right now. And then I'll go, well, I'll do that while I'm eating because I'm starved. <laughs> After I chart, I guess I'll take me a break. If it's not crazy, it shouldn't be crazy, but yeah that's pretty much it then from there i just answer call lights wait till five o'clock to do my rounds again and by that time once i finish the morning crew should be coming in and i don't think i have any get-ups i don't know i know it's two people on this hall who get up for dialysis so i don't know if i'm getting them up today i'll just check but that's it i'll just do my rounds and then get up those two people well one of them is independent and then the other one i gotta get up she usually gets up around like five or four thirty yeah so i'll just get her up at four thirty before i start my round so she'll be the first one i get up and then i'll start the rounds and then i'll be leaving after that i'm not going to stock tonight because i just have a heavy load when i stock i just stock gloves i'll put towels in their room but we don't have pretty much any towels so i can't do that anyways if i wanted to and I'll make sure that everyone's trash is emptied and they have trash bags. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This might be the end of it. Like I said, I might check in. I might not, depending on if I have the time or not. But go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful at all. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if you are a CNA or if you're pursuing nursing or where you're at in your life. Or just leave me some love and encouragement down below it's all helpful and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video see ya oh don't forget to subscribe i need a thousand subscribers so if you don't do nothing else just subscribe to my channel okay you don't gotta watch my videos even though it helps but just subscribe to the channel all right thanks a lot love you bye hey i'm back so just when i thought i was about to get a break <laughs> those plans were canceled because hey then he has called me back in her room she wanted to use the bathroom i didn't know that it was going to be such a hard time if i knew it was going to take me as long as it did she would have went on the bedpan it was <sighs> somebody else light is going off i never got a chance to take my break y'all i was about to go eat and do what i said i was going to do a light going off right now i just wanted to come in and check in with you guys because as soon as i took her to the bathroom oh my god it took forever because it just took forever just know that and then her roommate's like whenever you get finished with her can you take me i'm like sure 
And then she was cutting the fit because it was taking her so long. She was like, God damn it, how long is this going to take y'all? So I get with her and she got a colostomy bag and then she had to pee and she was on the stool for a while. Just a lot. It's a light going off, so I need to go check it, but y'all, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. All right, so it was another person who wanted to be toileted. I had just changed her, but she wanted to get up, so I just took her to the toilet, so she's going to be buzzing for me to come back. And room one, pain in the ass, they're on the light again after I just spent over an hour in there. Oh, my God. So I'm about to go see what they want. Okay, so it was her roommate, y'all. The nurse went in there before I could even make it, and I heard her saying, is that what you brush your light for? <laughs> so I was thinking she wanted socks, because she did say I had these socks on since I got here. I wanted some new socks. So I got the socks for her. I go in, and I'm waving the socks. I'm like, is this what you wanted? And the nurse goes, she just wanted some books. She was like, she wanted the books on her bed. <laughs> and that's what she wanted. She just wanted some books that was on her radiator to be on her bed, just like some notebooks. So right now I'm just waiting for my lady who's on the toilet, put her back in bed, and then I'm taking a break. It is three o'clock guys, three o'clock, and I haven't sat my tail down aside from those little couple of seconds when I talked to y'all, but that was it. I've been up and running ever since. I'm so glad that I'm off tomorrow. Y'all don't even understand. But yeah, guys, I thought I was gone, but clearly I'm back. <laughs> All right, so I finally ate and one of the girls from the other side came over and she just, you know, took over while I ate. I didn't finish charting. I was charting while I was eating. So I'm about to finish charting on my phone. It's just faster on the computer in the um, supervisor's office. So I'm about to finish charting on my phone. It's actually 3.45 now, and I'm gonna start my rounds at five, okay? I do have one person to get up. She has to be at dialysis at 5.45. And yeah, I had to go inside of the resident who was tested positive for COVID-19. She was tested positive back in March. They say the 26th of March. And they never retested her, and they're trying to tell us Oh, she doesn't have it. Like, that's that's a lot. <laughs> but I went in there and um, handled it like a boss, you know. But yeah, I'm about to finish charting. And um, yeah, I guess this will be the end of the video because, like I said, I'm just going to be doing my rounds and answering call lights. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video. All right guys, just one more update. So it's 4.30, 4.25 and I am about to go to sleep. <laughs> I am on my 30 minute break and y'all, I am so tired. Like, I'm just ready to go home. But I am about to take a nap. I got my jacket here. Throw my hoodie on. And I am about to doze off for these next 30 minutes. And I just felt like coming in to let you guys know that because I don't know, I just thought it was important. <laughs> so now this is officially the end of the video. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and get up my one person for dialysis and do my rounds and call it a day. But now your girl is going to sleep. Good night. <laughs>